friends. Apart from my family, I've never got to know anyone like I got to know the others who have been at Solar Blue with me. We've all become incredibly close, so much so that I find it really hard to imagine life without them. In fact, if I was going to be totally honest, I don't want to imagine life without them. Take Lauren, for instance. It's pretty much impossible not to like her. No matter what you're doing, Lauren is always the first person to step up and help. Uh, Lauren, what are you doing? What's the matter? Don't you like my company? Oh, I'm not even going to answer that. So? So, it's my job today. You go hit the surf. Stop fussing. It will be done in five minutes. That's Lauren. She can't help herself from helping people. If that's a fault, then I wish it was a fault shared by lots of others. Then there's Bridget. I admit that at first I was a bit afraid of her. Apart from having the looks, the clothes, the talent, she seemed so unbelievably together. Then I realised that underneath it all, she was just as shy and uncertain about things as the rest of us. Hey, there's a karaoke night tonight at Surf Club. Are you coming? No, thanks anyway. Why not? I've got a couple of emails to fix up. Oh, boring. Come on, you can do that any time. It'll be fun. To tell you the truth, I'm not really that keen on singing, especially not the public variety. Come on, you have a beautiful voice. Get out. You do. I've heard you singing too many times in the shower not to notice. It's one thing to burble away to yourself in the shower, but it's another thing to sing in front of other people. Listen, it is no big deal. We're just going to go there to be silly and enjoy ourselves. Six months ago, I'd never have believed that I'd be the one giving Bridget encouragement. But that's what I did these days. And she did the same for me when my confidence was flaky. We could do this stuff because we trusted each other, which in the end is really what it's all about. Among the boys, the friendship that surprised me the most was the one I had with Guy. I've never had so many arguments in my life as I've had with him. In fact, we all argued with him about everything. I am seriously bored. Oh, did him? What's the matter? Yeah, aren't we interesting enough for you anymore? No, it's just that we've finished our exams and now we're just filling in time until we get the results. How useless is that? Well, what about those two assignments we've still got to hand in? Why do we have to be here? We could do that at home. Yeah, and you would be down the beach in five minutes. No. I bet you would. I know you would. What is this? Doesn't anyone believe that I can act in a mature, responsible manner? Oh, great lot of friends you all turned out to be. <laughs> Who said we were your friends? OK, so I take it that nobody thinks that we'd be better off at home. Sorry, mate. You're on your own with that one. Oh, well, in that case, you'll give up on the lot of you. I'm going to talk to my lunch. It's way more interesting. Hello, lunch. So, what are your thoughts on music downloads today? <laughs> really? Give me time to digest that. Oh, damn. Guy's opinions were always out of left field and always getting up someone's nose. But our lives would have been a lot duller without them. And the really great thing about Guy was that no matter how hard you argued against him, he never took it personally. Oh. Oh. You need to put more backspin on it, Cass. Backspin? What's backspin? I'll show you. In some ways, Charlie was even more of a surprise packet than Guy. At the start of the year, he was focused only on himself. But after he got sick, it was like he changed completely. All right, so you want to try and hit the wall. Now he was the easiest person in the world to get along with. And one of the most generous, too. Oh! Very nice. Just like that. Give it a go. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. You two can't watch. Are you kidding me? We can't miss this. It could be a moment in pool playing history. Don't listen to him, Cass. And then, of course, there was Adam. After never having had a boyfriend before, I now just had about the best one I could possibly imagine. Very nice style there, young lady. Oh, thank you. You want a hand? I don't know why we got on so well together. What I did know, though, was that I was really glad we did. Mademoiselle care for hotel? Oh, Mademoiselle would. <laughs> Thanks. Why are you being so nice to me today? It's Tuesday. Oh, so does that mean you're only going to be nice to me on Tuesdays? No, it means they're going to be nice to you every day. But they're going to be extra nice on Tuesdays. <laughs> I think I can live with that. Mm, but are you sure? <laughs> 
absolutely positive. <laughs> I know that soon we'll be going our separate ways. We both desperately want to get out and explore everything the world has to offer. But whatever happens in the future, I hope I never lose Adam as a friend. If I'm talking friends, I can't overlook Beck either. I've never had a big sister, but if I had a choice of anyone in the world, then Beck would be the one. Oh, Cassie! Beck! I thought you were supposed to be training. I am going, but I just needed to ask you something. Sure. Look, I know it's our last week and all that, and we should be focusing on the final, but... But? But wouldn't it be nice to have some kind of small celebration? There's something small, it doesn't have to be some big deal late night sort of thing, just something to close off our time together before we have to go at each other's throats in the final. I'm already two steps ahead of you, Cassie. You are. Yes. As it happens, you get your exam results tomorrow, so Gary and I oh. were thinking we'd take you all out for a celebratory dinner at the Beach Cafe. Well, I hope we all pass. I'm sure you will. Besides, it's Lauren's birthday tomorrow night, so we can make it a double celebration. Oh, yeah. That sounds awesome. Thanks, Beck. That about sums up Beck. She seemed to know what all of us were thinking before we even knew ourselves. And just like Gary, she treated everyone the same and never played favourites. We trusted both of them completely. If Beck was the big sister, then Gary was the big brother. So definitely sure, he bawled us out all the time and made us work super hard at training. But that's what we're all okay, here for, and that's what we wanted. I think so. Get out there and show me, go on. Do my best. I don't want your best. I want better than your best. Any last instructions for me, Coach? Just to get out there and do it. That's all? You know what to do, Cassie. And you know how to do it. So let's just see it in action, right? Right. That was the thing about Gary. He never overcomplicated it. All good things are basically simple, and that's how Gary made surfing. Clear and simple. And at the end of the day, this was the glue that held us together. A love of surfing. And boy, did we love it. Funny, only a seriously stupid person would risk losing them, right? Well, here's today's newsflash. You're looking at a seriously stupid person. I read somewhere that most fights usually start over something that's very small and silly. What happened next was about as small and silly as you can get. Remembering what we talked about yesterday. Looks like Lauren's today. copying another earful from Gary. We should be jealous of all this personal attention before the finals. <laughs> yeah. I know Bridget was only joking, but it suddenly struck me that what she said was true. Gary had been helping Lauren a lot lately, more than the rest of us put together. How are we looking, coach? Oh, spectacular, boys. No last minute pointers? None worth worrying about now. What about us? Any tips? You're on a roll. Seriously, guys, the last thing I want to do now is mess with your heads. Well, in that case, I think dinner's the go. Ooh, sounds good to me. Count me in. Are you coming, Lauren? Gary? One quick session, 20 minutes. We'll see if we can crack this. Looks like I'll join you later. You are right there? Yeah, sure. The last few days before the finals are best spent not thinking about them. Huh, easier said than done. True, but you don't want to waste all your energy before the big day, and worrying about it will do that. Beck's right, you're all fit and ready to go. Your techniques are all good. Just try and relax as much as possible. We could all see the sense of what Beck and Gary were saying, but the truth was that we were also really starting to feel the pressure. And when you're under pressure, small doubts start to become big doubts. So, are there any small weaknesses that we should address or any technical things that we should brush up on? No. We spend the whole year working on that stuff. If you haven't got your act together now, no last-minute fix-ups are going to make any difference. Hang on a minute. What was Gary saying here? We'd all just seen him do the exact reverse of that. Sorry, Gary, but weren't you going through some technical stuff with Lauren today? Yeah, I did, actually, Cassie. But um, in Lauren's case, it's just a very minor adjustment of something we've been working on all year. Just needed a bit of reinforcement. What he's saying is I'm a slow learner. But I don't understand. Wouldn't that apply to all of us? 
I mean, don't we all have things we need to be reinforced? Well, if we did, Cassie, don't you think I'd be doing that? I don't know, that's why I'm asking. Like I said on the beach, you are all in spectacular form. I don't want to meddle with that now. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I guess all we can do now is try to find ways to forget about the finals. Well, there's always the small matter of uh, getting our exam results back. And we can't forget Lauren's birthday tomorrow night. <laughs> That's right. Small celebration down at the beach cafe. Oh, yes. Oh, hey. Perfect time to have a birthday, Lauren. <laughs> Thanks, even though I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> we'll give you credit anyway. <laughs> Sorry, I'll come back. No, you're right, I'm done. You look like you've just discovered the new bag you've been given as a fake. Yeah, maybe it is. Sorry? I don't get it. Why does Gary go on with all this stuff about leaving us alone but then spend hours coaching Lauren? I don't know, I, I guess it's like he said, he's just getting her to practice something he's already taught her. Yeah, but it's only her. It's like he's trying to give her an edge. Are you saying you think he's favouring her? What do you think? I don't believe it. I think Gary wouldn't do that. So do you think I'm being paranoid? It's the finals. We're all getting a little strung out. Don't worry about it. Good night. Maybe Bridget was right. Maybe I was making a mountain out of a molehill. Let's face it, it wouldn't be the first time. But something still seemed wrong. I just wish I knew what it was. As it turned out, I got the answer quicker than I could have ever bargained for. And this time, there was no doubt whatsoever about what was going on. Of course you can do it. We know you can. We really believe in you, Lauren. You're one of the best surfing prospects to come through this place. Absolutely, and you will do terrifically well on the circuit. There's no doubt about that. So if I make it... When do you make it? You have to be that positive, Lauren. OK, but what about Cassie and Bridget? They both want this so much, it will be devastating for them if they lose. Well, that's not your problem, Lauren. Look, they've known all along there can only be one winner. If it's not them, sure, they're going to be disappointed but they'll get over it. It's not like they won't have other opportunities. Yeah, losing the finals is not going to be the end of everything for either of them. They'll more than manage. If you're sure things can work out. Totally sure. And you promise the others won't find out about this? No way. Thanks. Well, I guess I better get some sleep. I think that's a great idea. You've got a big few days coming up. I couldn't believe I heard what I just heard. Beck and Gary were telling Lauren she was going to win. How could they do this? Why would they do this? And what could Bridget and I possibly do about it? So, come on, Lauren, what do you want for your birthday? I told you I don't want any presents. Just a nice meal together is plenty. Yeah, I know, but we want to get you something. Yeah, a memento of our time together. Mm -hmm. I don't need any more stuff. I've got enough of it. How about a group photo? We could get a frame. Yes, and then we could all dress up in costumes. <laughs> um, how about no? I was just suggesting. Oh, that'd be great. That's something I'd really love. Thanks. That's funny. You live with someone for a whole year and you think you know them. We all thought Lauren was sweet, lovable and generous. The minute the prize came up for grabs, though, she turned out to be the exact opposite. Woohoo! 82%! If that's not a good year's result, I don't know what is. <laughs> good work, man. I Thank knew you. you could do it. So what about you geniuses? What did you get, Charlie? 91. Only 91? Well done, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not quite up to Bridget's level, though. OK, super brain. Hit me with the bad news. 96. Oh. 96? <laughs> that's appalling. You're lucky you're not getting chucked out of home. Oh, but dear. congratulations. Maybe if I leave it here long enough, some luck or rubber. <laughs> luck? Nothing. That was all hard work. <laughs> so what about you guys? Barely scraped through, did we? 87. 87. Oh, what? That means I came last. My self-esteem will never recover. <laughs> I'll give it 10 minutes. No, I reckon five. <laughs> oh. oh, there's hope for me yet. Cassie, what did you get? Uh, 86. Oh, well done, Cass. Bridget, can I see you for a minute? Uh, sure, yeah. What's wrong with Cassie? She's hardly said a word all day. Yeah, she's probably just stressing about the exam results. You know how she is. Stressing? I should be the one stressing. I came last out of all you lot. Man, 82 is still a good result. 
Yeah, especially for someone who never answers the question properly. Ah, yeah. uh, true, I suppose when you put it like that, I can't complain. But you're gonna anyway, so. Yeah, and what are friends for, <laughs> hey? hey? Oh. I don't believe it. Well, I can't either. No, it, it can't be true. You must have misheard something. No, nah, no way. Beck and Gary were telling Lauren that she'd win and not to worry about us being disappointed. And then Lauren made them promise to keep it a secret and they both agreed. This makes the whole year a big shame, you know? Why would Beck and Gary do this? A and Lauren? It's just not like her, I mean, why? I guess the idea of winning just got to her. I mean, we all want it. When it got handed to her on a silver platter, I guess she couldn't resist. And so now, we have to decide what to do. Well, I guess there is only one thing we can do. We need to talk to Beck and Gary today as soon as we get home from school. What about Lauren? If they're the ones that have put her up to this, we need to confront them first. Besides... What? If this is true, then I don't ever want to speak to Lauren again. As it turned out, the conversation I was dreading had to be put off. Beck and Gary had gone out and left a note saying they'd meet us at the beach cafe. <laughs> Whoa, don't you look like the birthday princess? Thank you. Well, will we be right to go then? What about Cassie? Um, I think she's just sorting out what to wear. Oh, well, I'll go chase her up. No, it's all right. It's a girl thing. I'll see you guys there. You sure you don't want us to wait? No, we can't wait. We're wasting valuable party time. And tell Cassie to hurry up or I'll eat her dinner as well as my own. <laughs> you sure you don't want me to wait? Positive. We'll see you there soon. Cool. What's happening? I don't know if I can go through with this. It's only a couple of hours. We'll talk to Beck and Gary as soon as we get back. But I can't just sit there and pretend that everything's normal. It's not normal. I know. But the boys have been looking forward to this. They're still our friends. We should do it for them. They're going to find out the truth very soon, though. It'll shock them as much as it has us. Maybe that's all the more reason that we should have one last good time all together. Because once they find out, we won't get the chance to do that again. OK, then. But it's not going to be easy. I know. Having to sit through Lauren's birthday and play dumb was the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. I couldn't believe how she and Beck and Gary could pretend they weren't all hiding this terrible secret. Um, thank you all so much. I just want to say what a fantastic year it's been and how lucky I feel to have found such a wonderful group of friends. And I really hope that whatever happens on Saturday, I think you're all winners. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a pity some winners are more important than others. Sorry? It must be pretty easy to praise a competition when you already know the result. Cassie. No, oh, Bridget, you can sit here and play dumb, but I've had enough. Cassie, what's going on? Ask Lauren. She's read the script. You know the one you and Gary have done such a good job writing for me. Cassie? What was Cassie just talking about? Beck? Lauren. Yes? What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm going home. Well, you can't go. There's no bus or anything until the morning. Well, at least I'll be ready to go first thing. The sooner I get out of here, the better. All right, well, Beck and Gary want to see us in their office. What's the point? There's nothing left to say. I've heard enough lies for one day. I think it might be good to hear what they have to say. It might be good to know their reasons. Do you seriously think it's going to make any difference? I just want to know. Come in, girls. Take a seat. I'll stand. Thanks. Bridget has explained to us what's happened about how you think Gary and I told Lauren we're certain she'll win the final. Which I'm withdrawing from, by the way. I'll be leaving first thing in the morning. Not going to be much of a final, then, now that we've got two of you threatening to withdraw. Bridget, you didn't tell me. I didn't say anything about withdrawing. Not yet, anyway. Well, then who? It was me. I told Gary last week I wanted to pull out. 
No, but that can't be true because I heard Beck and Gary telling you last night that you were going to win. That's the problem with only hearing bits of conversations. You only get part of the picture. We were telling Lauren to go into the finals thinking like a winner, that she owed it to herself and to the both of you to compete at her very best. Well, then what's all this stuff about keeping it a secret? And why the extra coaching for Lauren? There was no extra coaching. I was just spending time with Lauren, trying to convince her not to withdraw. Which we managed to do last night. But she asked us not to say anything in case it ruined your preps for the finals. But I don't understand. Why would you want to withdraw? Like I said at the cafe, it's been such a fantastic year together. We've all become so close as friends. I'm sorry, I still don't understand. What Lauren is saying, Cassie, is that she values her friendship with you and Bridget more than she values winning the final. I know how much you both want to win. I couldn't run the risk of taking that away from you both. But don't you want to win? Sure, but I just couldn't hack the thought of you two being so disappointed if you lost. But even with both of us, one of us still has to lose. I know, but you've got a better chance of winning without me. Anyway, we assured Lauren the best thing she could do as your friend was to give you the toughest competition possible. Because we know you'd feel cheated if all three of you weren't right there till the end. I'm sorry. Looks like all I've done is cause a whole lot of trouble. Have you ever felt so small and worthless? You just wish you could become invisible. Out of all the dumb things I've ever done, and there have been plenty, this was by far the dumbest. I'd upset everyone's preparation for the final. I'd jump to conclusions. I'd wreck a party. I'd trash my coaches. And most of all, I'd totally misjudge one of the nicest and best friends I would ever be lucky enough to have. Does it get much worse than this? I don't think so. If Lauren decided never to speak to me again, I wouldn't blame her. In fact, if she asked someone to have me thrown off a cliff, I wouldn't blame her. All I knew was I wanted my friend back and I'd do anything to make it happen. I could crawl on my stomach over every rock in Blue Water Beach. You could pull out my teeth one by one with a pair of pliers. Neither of those sound like much fun. It's what I deserve, though. Unless maybe you can think of a better punishment. I'm not really into punishment. Besides, why would I want to hurt anyone anyway? Well, I hurt you. Only for a while. And when I thought about your point of view, I realised I probably would have reacted the same anyway. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm the only person that I know who could be so stupid. Forget about it, Cass. It's over, OK? I'm so sorry, Lauren. Apology accepted. Now, can we please never, ever talk about this again? <sighs> sure. <laughs> Thanks for being so, um... Lauren, <laughs> about it. <laughs> oh, hey, after all that, I still haven't got your birthday present. I told the others oh. what I wanted, but you left the cafe before I could get it. Right, sit down, young lady. Wait right there, because this is one thing I can do properly. <laughs> say that you get the friends you deserve. Somehow, and in spite of my best attempts to lose them, I've ended up with friends who are better than I deserve. If you ask me, that's about as good as it gets.